So good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to tonight's round six clash in a VPL2 Victoria match between the host Brunswick Juventus and a visiting Pascavale FC coming to you live from CB Smith Reserve all thanks to our major sponsor and that is Joe's Quality Corner out at Preston Market. Make sure you get down there and give them a visit and let them know that you're a Brunswick U of F fan. They have some quality meats out there, the biggest range of beef, lamb, pork and goat they're open from Wednesday to Sunday. They also do home delivery at joesqualitycorner.com.au and they deliver between Wednesday and Saturday. So make sure you give them a visit and let them know that you're a proud Brunswick U of A fan supporter. And without their support, we couldn't bring you this live telecast. My name is Alex Sifkarowski. Joining me in the commentary box tonight is the chairman, Joe Sala. Joe, welcome this evening and good to have you back. Thank you, Alex. Uh, great to be back. It's going to be a very, very interesting game tonight. As we said, both teams do play here as a home ground at CB Smith Reserve. So it's a battle of the home ground advantage. Who will take honours? These two teams did play each other last year, twice in round seven. It was Pascaval winning 1-0 thanks to a goal from Nicholas Georgiopoulos. Georgiopoulos sorry. And in the return fixture in round 20, Brunswick, very strong win, 2-0. Thanks from Matthew Lone and Jonathan Bunas in 2022. Round one, it was a nil-all draw. But then in round 12, Pascaval won 3 nil thanks to Ricky Foster-Hossaway, Terence Carter and Adrian Talricchio. A few names there that are currently in the Brunswick UVA squad but not playing tonight. So I'm sure they will have fond memories of that game. 
Speaking of the lineups, let's go through them. The home side, Brunswick Juve, we have number 12, Juan Sok Choi, the goalkeeper. Number three, the captain, Nicholas Simioi. Number five, Matthew Watley. Number six, Philip Petreski. Number seven, Matthew Kundari. Number nine, goal scoring machine, Thomas Barfarosh. 11, Joshua Ubina. 13, Matthew Lazaridis. 15, Mitchell Graham. 18, Lucas Vaz. And number 28 is Justin Mikulov with coach Oliver Stankowski making three changes with Ubina Mikulov Kundari coming in. We will have a minute of silence. to see the crowd respecting that minute of silence and as we said we'll go through three changes for Oliver Stankowski with Hubina, Mikulov and Kundari coming in. Reading Moore goes to the bench and out of the lineups completely are Stefan Ristik and Steve Sokol. So a couple of late changes there for the boys in black and white. For Pascaval, well they've brought up a full lineup from last week. Jorge Shakarun is their goalkeeper. Jonathan Vakiratsis is their Number three, number four, the captain, Nick Hatsi-Giorgio. Nine is Will Roberts. Ten is Bahadi Haisoli. Eleven is Koran Sekic. Twelve is Ayob Zuedi. Number 13, Daniel Lucente. Eighteen, Thomas Alessandratos. And 23 is Burhan Alibol. And 15, Hayden Tennant. So Shane Rex Heppi making one change with Sekic and Zuedi. Uh, the changes, well, since that opening day loss, uh, Joe, our boys have gone on a bit of a run with uh, having a four straight wins and a win tonight will make it five in a row. That's that's the plan, um, Alex, and you're right. We can only beat whoever they put in front of us and the situation is now that uh, both clubs now... Remember, both of these clubs have been relegated from um, the level above and they're both keen to get back there as soon as they can. Both aspire to doing better. Both teams have new coaches to the, <laughs> to the level um, in Rex Epi and Stankowski. So both are keen to show, show their wares and, you know, both good teams. We expect a good game tonight. It's amazing how the logistics change over the years. Some of the boys that we played against us are now actually in our squad. And uh, that's the nature of football, especially in Victoria. That's right. Uh, a lot of changes there. Well, Pascal Val, they got off to a flyer, but all of a sudden they've hit a bit of a roadblock. Two straight losses in a row, including a... Doherty Cup to make it three in a row so they're on a bit of a slump at the moment and they'll be looking to impress tonight and get back to winning ways but the boys in black and white, they're ready to fire so it'll be the home side Brunswick Juventus to get us underway, they'll be kicking to the right of screen and there we have it as Petreski sends a high ball forward first real chance as headed away as Pasco need to defend early on so Gone the director out tonight there, Joe. Just go forward and uh, try to pinch a couple of goals, I guess. Yeah, you, you mentioned a few rotations. You, a couple of boys have been in and haven't had a stretch. So it's good uh, squad rotation by Stankowski. Just wanting to keep everybody sharp and on the ball. Uh, you, you might see some similarities in the play, though. I don't think he want to alter from the trajectory that he's been on for the last few weeks. So we're looking forward to the results. Chance now for... Across the chips over down the line. Alley ball let it go. Bit of a tussle there. Might be another corner. So boys in black and white come out early. Looking to get that early goal and calm the nerves. It is a big derby, as we said. It is a packed crowd here at CB Smith Reserve. Bit of hesitancy there from the two defenders. And Tommy Barfarosh does what Tommy Barfarosh does and doesn't give up any ball. So force that corner. Can we take advantage? High ball into the box. It's squandered away. It's gone in. They'll result. claim it. It's bounced off a few. Not quite sure of the scorer. Eh? <laughs> there was a sea of players there. And what a start this is for Brunswick in the first minute. They lead 1-0. Just can't make out that... Uh, that that score up. No 
Might have gone in. I think it's Mikulov that's going to claim at somebody, but uh, we'll get back into it while we watch the replay as Pascavale are down already. I think it might have came off Mikulov. But Barfrosh is claiming it, so it might be Barfrosh there. He's on a bit of a roll at the moment. Now Pascavale just need to pick themselves off the ground. Alley ball. Hey, Soli just swings at it out wide. Chance for Sikic to calm things down. I'm happy to go back to Shakarun. Build up play here from Pascaval. Nice solely moving it around. Back to Tennant. Look a little bit cautious at the moment, a little bit shell shot by that uh, early result. It's definitely caught everyone out. Chance now, they put a ball forward. Lovely little flick on here. They do recover. Choi sends it upfield. Barfarosh there, just impeding. Uh, looks like the offside flag is raised. Yeah, just a little bit slow coming back from an offside position, Miss Tommy. So we're still not sure who claimed the goal. It's either Mikulif or Tommy Barfarosh, but uh, we'll get to that at half time and see who does claim it. Just making sure they get their foot on the ball at the moment, Pasco Vale. Looking to play things nice and tidy just to get a bit of a feel. And uh, there you go, there's a little bit of pressure. Ball scoots wide as Pasco Vale give up the throw. To apologise for the banner in the middle of the stream. We are working behind the scenes to get it removed. We'll have it shortly done, but play goes on. As Pasco Vale now look to push on forward here bit of a run and cut out in the end for a throw currently looks like a flat back four Stankovsky's opted with uh, three up front for Pascoe Vale so plenty of space bit of a miss kick there Pascoe Vale throw in in, in front of the view it global sign short throw in <sighs> can see it a bit of ground now. They send it upfield to the right-hand side. Trying to get some movement going forward here from Pasco. Ball in the middle of the park, twisting and turning. Looking for that through ball, but plenty of black and white shirts in the back line now, able to send it upfield, but might be just a tad too long. And it'll be an easy one to bring in. Just overhit there, but... Um... The intention was right. Perfect night for football in marvellous Mary Beck. As two of the municipalities' uh, bigger clubs go toe to toe, both eager to get out of the division. Pascoe Val moving forward. Ball crossed through the middle in a bit of space. Simioi just blocks the avenue and Petrescu moves forward. Pandari shields it well. Off to the right-hand side, Mitchell Graham decides to go back. Would give Choi a bit of a touch of the ball, and out it goes. Tommy Barfarosh gets nudged underneath it. Play on is the call, and Pascoe Vale clear it away for a throw-in as Matthew Kundari was running onto that. Apologies, uh, some technical work going on behind the scenes to get rid of that banner right in the middle of the pitch, but we'll keep going with as much detail as we can. Barfrosh holds it up nicely, gets uh, unceremoniously dumped and uh, picks up a free kick for Brunswick Juventus. Just on his haunches a little bit, I'm sure he's okay. Nothing too much in it, the referee doesn't seem to be too worried about the situation. Free kick to Brunswick Juventus, Alex. Yes, uh, Uga Arslan there 
Just cooling things back. Now a chance for Brunswick to whip across in as Petrovsky. Whistle goes. Whips it in, looking for the back post. Oh, it's headed away, not cleared properly. Looking to bring it in, back into play. Ubina. Straight to the keeper. Chance now for Pascaval through the back for Hatsi Giorgio. Plays a quick one, two. Gets around Sekic nicely here. Gets three shirts around him. Pascaval really under the pump in opening minutes here at C.B. Smith's reserve. They go further wide to the right-hand side, able to push it forward. Just ambles out. Been able to cope so far, Alex, with anything. Pascoval's thrown at us forward, mostly diagonal balls. Bit wary of giving him too much space in tight. They've got a bit of pace on either wing. We're looking at uh, just getting behind. So our back line really needs to be really on point and make sure their communication is on. Otherwise, uh, a quick through ball and it could be in danger here as Pascoval now started to settle in a little bit. Quick one in the middle to Hasoli. Ali Bolt, I'll be relying on his experience to steady the ship now. So one thing that, that Pascaval can't afford to do, Joe, is concede another, otherwise heads bow down and it's a long way back in it. Well, from a purely unbiased point of view, uh, Alex, <laughs> that's uh, exactly what the doctor ordered, so we'll just <laughs> let it develop. We'll, we'll try to keep it as uh, consistent as we can as Petrescu cuts that one off. We're looking to go forward again now for Kundari. Tight spots, there's a lovely ball over the top. Head of the way. Just Pascaval really finding it really difficult. They have to just clear to anywhere they can. They're really finding that press, Joe, really difficult to control and move the ball around to their tempo and their speed. Very much so. I'm sure uh, the gaffer would be fairly pleased with how we've settled quickly. Not overawed. Pascaval on the other the other occasion they're trying to maintain some sort of balance to their game but it keeps breaking down here they come again Nelly ball in the middle to Hasoli Makaratsis Hasoli just going around in circles at the moment just missing that confidence I think of looking ahead nothing uh, to see Chenti Sure one to Hay Soli. Right in front of us here at CB Smith Preserve. Puts that through ball down the line. Not on the same wavelength. It's probably the one thing they're lacking at the moment is everyone being on the same page as he wins it back again. They go forward here. Bit of space in the middle, bit of a stretch there for Hats Georgiou. Getting gang tackled there, Petreski now. Just seems that Brunswick are cool, calm, collected in those tight spots. Joe, they're happy to just ease up the, the pressure and then think and move the ball around. They get out nicely here. There's nothing like a nice early goal to settle some nerves and allow you to play some football. Oh, poor ball there as Mikulif was behind. And Graham now recovers. A good work. Petreski swings at it to the left-hand side, slowly opening it up in a bit more. Looking to cut in. Still going. There's a lovely work here. Out wide. The cross comes in. Bar for us. A little bit of a mix up there. They want a corner, but referee says it'll be a goal kick. As his time over again, it's a, hopefully a different result, but uh, good to get the ball in. Defenders love nothing worse than uh, facing your own goal. Pascal again. You can hear the frustrations from the way fans. Got a bit of space in the middle now. That's a George looking out wide. 
Too many black and white shirts. A challenge came through. Petrescu. And be called a foul there. Bit of afters at that one, Joe. Yeah, the Zebra's keen to move the ball on, and Pascal Vale not so keen. Not too much in it. Referee should take control fairly quickly. Bit of a no-nonsense attitude tonight from the Zebras. Looking like uh, all business. Well, sitting at the top of the table here and they've got off to a great start and three points tonight depending how results go there could be four points clear heading into a big game in the Doherty Cup against MPL outfit Heidelberg United yeah that'll that'll be a challenge but uh we're up for challenges well, as they say the magic of the cup anything can happen correct it's kept in. Lovely little bit of work here. Vaz still going. Eventually the challenge came through and it'll be a throw in. Yeah, be liking what he's saying at the moment, uh, Oliver Stankowski. We look assured we're taking the game to, to Pascoe Vale, who aren't really coping too well with it at the back. Uh, shows you one team riding a high on four wins, whereas one team is on back-to-back -back losses and a, a third here for Pasco and that dream of going up in the football pyramid slowly starts to take its toll as that's going to be another corner, another corner. here. In, indeed, the, the mental capacity to, to stay focused is uh, all important. It's a long way to go in the season yet, though. As I said earlier, Alex, we can only beat the teams uh, that are in front of us, regardless of where they end up. It's all about what the, um, the black and white do. Oh, thought he got under that, but not seen. Letting it play a little bit, the referee. Barfrosh looks offside and indeed is called. Skipper motioning to the fourth official. If he saw that looked like what well, was an obvious free kick. We've stepped back a little bit. Instead of pressing now, we're allowing him to get that first ball in, but we are winning the first ball. Again, nice play with interaction with Kundari as we go forward. Mikulov, lovely move. And this time he's still got it, Mikulov. Lovely Slips ball. inside, nice ball, but Kundari just unable to gather it. They'll rue that one. That's a missed uh, opportunity for Matthew. He would have loved to have poked one in there. Big chance there as Mikulov cuts in. Kundari maybe just wasn't expecting it. He was probably expecting him to fire one home. Ali Ball. Now we'll go back to Shakarun. As the youngsters get excited <laughs> in the background, Alex. Tennant. Great to see the young future Brunswick players, male and female, out here supporting their senior players. Future looking bright here as Ali Ball now looks forward. They go wide. To Licenti, lost one up the field, but Choi, we're happy to watch that one and just take a bit of time off the clock here. We played 20 minutes and Brunswick Juventus leading 1 0 thanks to a Barfarosh goal in the opening minute from a corner. Choi, just happy to milk up as much time as possible before Zweddy eventually had enough of it. Sends it up field, high ball. Barfrosh the target, alley ball headers. 
Maz. Oh, streaming forward here. Kundari skips over the top. It's headed away again. Pascaval under the pump once again. Referee plays, plays wave on. on. Interesting call there. To be fair, we had we had the ball in plenty of space. The the last delivery was too long, but uh, he allowed to play on. Just a little bit sharper and first to the ball. Uh, Kundari winning the the obvious battles at that the pointy end and Brunswick Juventus more comfortable. Ray Pascal on the break. Sekic now looking to charge down the field. Graham watching him closely. Sekic in the middle. Right on the edge of the box. Maybe overworked it, but gets it back again. He flips in across, headed away. Not out of trouble yet. Hey, Soli. Concedes a bit of ground. Hatsi Giorgio. Captain trying to steady the ship just slowly. Cross comes in. It's deep, looking for the back post. Not sure whether there's a chance or a cross, but either way, it's gone away for a goal kick. A bit more direct. We don't look like we're trying to get around the back of them. We seem to be a little bit more direct inside, and uh, it's working so far. But just the physicality of uh, the Zebras forwards is making life difficult for the Pascal Vale back line. Choi, got to be careful here. Just lofts it up a little bit. Graham brings it down nicely. Composed football here by the boys in black and white. Got to be careful now. Turned into trouble. Yeah, too long as Hasoli. On the edge of the box, looking for a shot here by Roberts, but just too many in front. Hatsi Giorgio concedes a bit of ground. Vakiratis. Sekic trying to spin out of trouble. Hatsi Giorgio sold it nicely as Kandari just gives him a nice little afters. Referee waves him on. Out wide, Sekic. To go one on one. Cross is low. It's off the post and they'll get a corner here, Joe. Mm. Probably their best passage of play all night so far. They've strung a few passes together. The skipper's doing a good job in the centre. Just trying to steady the ship, as you mentioned before. That's a Georgiou just making sure that they get their foot on the ball and play their game. Black and white turn to, de to defend the corner. Chance now for Pascaval. Got to come up with something. He stole the offers short. He's ignored. Cross comes in. Oh, it's a goal line clearance there. Well done. Well, Watch. nervous moments. Choi was caught in no man's land. Could have been Petrovsky to hook it away. They hit her away now. A sigh of relief from the home fans as Vakets just sends it long as he can and Choi just dummies it out. And that was very close there, Joe. It was indeed. Uh, we had line, somebody on the line. It looked like uh, Philip Petrovsky on the line there. So good clearance was required as i say this last couple of minutes pascal vale just applying a little bit of pressure as we know the game can ebb and flow the opposition is available so it's a case of uh you know, referee saying something he doesn't like as in the time here we go kick off now headed back into play pascal vale go down the line but we tidy up. Troy goes wide again now. Physical challenge there by Pascal Val, but I think they've just realised that they can be in this game with a little bit of extra pressure, Pascal Val. All of a sudden they've started to win the 50-50 ball. Slowly getting back into this game now. Can they find something with Played 25 minutes, 20 to go. Hatsi Giorgio trying to lift his team a little bit by little bit. Maz just gives away a foul there. As Pascal now try to build out from the back. 
Shakarun goes short to Tennant. Tennant now looks forward out wide. He's given it away cheaply missed, now. Nice pass. Mikolev. Ooh, just, just over hit. Yeah, just over hit. So too much there. He really needed to take control of that one. Got a bit of pace about him, Justin Mikolev. Slowly coming back into fitness now. He's after in interrupted pre-season. Quick throw in the middle. Petrescu goes back to Simeoy. As the read is, the captain, Simeoy, finds Watley in the middle. Barfrosh trying to play quick one, two. It's a poor ball from Barfrosh now. Pascavel streaming forward here. They slide it through. Front position, he shoots, and it's gone wide. Well pressured back by Matthew Watley there to make it uncomfortable for the forward and just puts it wide. Well, a mistake by Barfrosh up one end. Almost causes a goal up the other end for Pascaval, and that was very, very close to going in there, Joe. Yep, just a bit too sharp uh, for Petreski to get the return ball from Barfrosh, who didn't quite handle it as easily as he should have. Blue unnecessary pressure, but Matthew Watley never going to let the loose one go too far. He defended like his life depended on it, and he made a crucial save there as Alessandratos. The danger man for Pasco could not put in the back of the net. So there's some slow warning signs there, Joe, now of uh, Pasco just getting their confidence back after that early goal. Yep, and we mentioned that and we saw that um, just appearing. Just a little bit more effort up there, system a little bit more, a little bit more confidence to winning the ball. So just some warning shots across the bow. Oh, bumped off the ball here. Chance for Brunswick. They're going forward, twisting and turning. High cross. Oh, it's missed everyone, but Mikolev's at the back of it now. Trying to twist and turn. He concedes a bit of ground to Graham. They're happy to go all the way back to Watley. Choi. Keeping possession of the ball. No rush if it's not on. Just hold the ball up. Probably the directive that the coach Oliver Stankowski wants. If it's not there, go back, start again. Correct. No need to turn it over cheaply. So Brunswick now purring like a fine old Ferrari. Choi, oh, a bit of a slice there, and Simeoy will keep it in. Whatley it is going to make Whatley, amends. Sorry. The angle here is. It's a, <laughs> it's a lovely angle. There's Barfrosh just bumping Ooh. off Ali Ball, but the referee says, you have the ball. Let's move it along, boys. Good refereeing there. Tennant, Ali Ball. It's a lovely ball in the middle. Here, Pascaval trying to get something forward. Show too much. Ooh, late challenge there. Referee waves him on, but... We've got a player down, and I think it's... Skipper looks like he's yeah. down. Simeoy's not looking too good as the referee tries to break it up. I think there's a clash of legs there. I'm not quite sure if anything was intentional, but... Might have been just a, a knee on knee. And unfortunately came off second best. Joy's trying to keep the pace there, which uh, shouldn't be any reason to get too excited. Minnick has come out, so... Yep. Hopefully it's just precautions here and a chance for both teams to get a bit, a bit of a breather and the referee to get it under control. Gives us a chance to thank our sponsors, Joe's Quality Corner at Preston Market. Make sure you get down there this weekend. They're open from Wednesday to Saturday. They also do home delivery, so in the comfort of your own home, you can, you can order some fine quality meats. They have the biggest range of beef, lamb, pork and goat. Also, with a number of 18 different types of sausages, get down there at Joe's Quality Corner at Preston Market. Let them know you're a Brunswick UF fan. And they'll look after you as they look after us here and bring you all the live action. Also, Cornerstone Pizzeria, 105-107 Harding Street in Coburg. If you're looking for some fine cuisine, get down to Cornerstone Pizzeria at 105-107 Harding Street. 
And the margarita pizza there is absolutely to die for. Yeah, Jam see Jamil, he'll look after you. Just uh, look above the door line. You'll, <laughs> see, you'll see our shirt hanging there in pride. Well, Joe, it gives us a chance to reflect on the opening half an hour here at CB Smith Reserve. We, we got off to a flyer, maybe a surprise, I think, for both sides. And uh, from there, it's sort of... It's timid, a little bit timid, a little bit tamed down a little bit. It's not the, the fast pace we thought will continue on. Both teams have sort of slowly uh, brought them back down to earth. Yeah, indeed, uh, I, I hear what you say. I think um, Zebras just edge it. We're uh, a little bit more control, but Pasco Vale in the last 10 minutes or so have realised that uh, if they up the ante a little bit and throw some caution to the wind that they actually get some, uh, some joy out of going forward. And we've been tested a couple of times, but defensively I think we've coped mostly, except for a couple of slip-ups, so it's uh, still in the balance. It's good to be ahead. A lot of work to do. Don't forget, if you're watching at home, let us know your thoughts on the game. Thank you for everyone that's tuned in and, and offered our support. We'd love to hear from you from wherever you're watching around the world. Let us know how you think that both teams are going so far as Nick Simui comes off. He's hobbling a bit, the skipper. Yeah. I think he'll be okay. Might just uh, get that bit of magic spray on him. And he shouldn't be back. He's led the charge this season for him. And now he's just got to steady the ship through the next 20-odd minutes here. As Petreski swings at it wide. Still kept in. And it'll be a throw for Pascaval deep at left back, and Sikic will allow Vakiritsis to bring it in. We're going to go short to Heisoli, ignored him. Goes long. Alexandrados was the target. Graham took a nice overhead mark there. Wrong code. for Pasco right in front of us here at CB Smith Reserve. Goes short, it's flicked on. Petreski. Simeoi looks to have recovered. He swings at it wide. Lucas Vaz. Yeah. Oliveira looking bony to it. It comes off him too in the throw. Just yeah. uh, I'd be thinking of looking at getting a little bit more out of the wide players. We, we seem okay, have control of the back and the middle. That, that final ball just hasn't been there. We haven't been able to really get behind them. I'd like to see us settle down into a, some confidence of playing some pattern. But we're grinding it out. Very similar game to Box Hill. It was a bit of a grind. Yep. And it's looking like that. Yeah, it seems uh, at home we sort of find it a little bit tough at times. Is a, is a oh. potential free kick. Is, is that it? a free kick? It's right on right the edge on of the, the box edge. there. Can't make it out with the glare here, Alex, but it, it definitely looks like it's on the outside of the box. You're right. I've got to say that uh, the luxurious surface of CB Smith in Merribeck here probably allows teams to, um, to play to their potential, which means that they come here optimistic that they can get something out of it because the ground conditions are good. Also, the big boys uh, obviously get targeted. They yep. want to want to show them that what they're capable of, and our boys just need to roll with the punches and keep going forward. As it's a free kick now in a very very good position outside 18 yard box. Barfrost, the usual suspects. Watley's gone in there as well. I'd love to get on the end of this one, the dual Mirabella medalist, Matthew Watley. Petrovsky. No, won't be. Cross comes in, looking for the back post. It's punched away by Shakarun. Comes in from Kondari. Just had a bit too much on there. Matthew can strike him. That was always going away, but uh, the intent was there. Yes, I hear what you say about the, uh, the, the club and uh, people step up when they play us. It's been 75 years. Uh, Alex, we sh should be well used to it by now. That's right. As uh, Tennant. Especially when I climb back up the football pyramid. As Tennant trying to get something going here with Ali Bowl. Lucente. 
Lost one upfield. It's a good run, but cutting it off is Signore. It's already plenty of time, the skipper. Chance now. They've got the numbers up forward here. Lovely through ball. Oh, just a bit behind. A big chance there for Brunswick, but they maintain possession, which is the main thing. They come out wide. Mikulov. Lovely ball down the line and might have just had just a bit over, too much. Just overhit by Mikulov, but the, the right intentions were there. While the ball's moving, we, we look to, uh, to the flow. Quickly taken by Shakarun. Tennant has to stop, assess, see what's in front of him now. Pascaval, after showing glimpses of trying to get back into the game, of sort of going back a little bit now, trying to dictate the play. Tennant has to go back to his captain in Hatsi Georgiou. Alley ball. Tennant now. Now they've got a bit of space here on the left hand side. And gave it away. Well over hit. Well over hit there. Gave uh, Jonathan uh, the no no chance at all with that ball. Under 10 minutes to go here before half time. And Zebra's well in control. Some uh, half scares. Yeah, Barfrost trying to flick it on, but no one on the end of it. Petreski out wide now. Chance for Vaz. Trying to get some flair going there, but really nothing in front as they concede a bit of ground here in the back line. Watley. Ball over the top, but really it was just a no look and send it forward. Barthorosh was nowhere near it. Almost a mix up there by Pascaval, but Vicente was there's Zweri finds Tennant. No real pressure here from the forwards. He solely tries to come in, try to get the ball moving. We're waiting for that ball out. We go now and they move forward. That's the gap that was created by Lucas Fass coming, coming inside. Didn't need to. And, and there's the danger that they possess. So Lucas Fass had no reason to come in. Uh, we're obviously waiting for that uh, first ball out, which would have been something that Phil Petrovsky's been the dad at cleaning up all game so far. Just uh, need Choi. to keep our heads a little bit. Choi sends it upfield. Vaz the target again. Lucenti beating him this time. That's been an interesting battle, that one. Lucenti and Vaz. Lucenti winning it at the moment. You know, Vaz can... Really just turn it on. As Brunswick now try to build it out in the remaining time we have left in this half. It'll be a couple of minutes of at a time as Kondari. We go back to Choi. Petreski almost playing at right, at right back, left back role this evening. He's playing everywhere at the moment as they switch it forward. Mikulif was the target. Hey, Soli. Lucente. Looks for the line. Zwedi. Pascaval now. Just moving it around. Like Joe said, hoping a player moves out of position and send that ball forward as it comes wide. Alison Dratos. Play on eventually the referee. He's been good today, Petrovsky. Yeah. Covering all that uh, all that space. Yeah. And that one just wide of Mikulov for a throw here. He's only offering the run. Tries to ignore him. Gotta be careful here. The tackle came in from Kundari, but tenant now with a bit of space in front of him. Pasco seem to be just going around in the same route at the moment. They finally got a bit of breathing space. Hatsi Giorgio. Back to Ali Ball. Hatsi Giorgio looking for that fruit balls. Ready now. That overlapping run. Chance for Pascaval now. Cross comes in. 
Oh, it's a swing and a miss there. Mikola from the back again, looks up, nothing in front of him, just got to hold it up. Just sends it upfield for Barfarosh, but Tenen was there early. Mikolif again gets clipped from behind. And it'll be a free kick. Always provides a target, uh, Tommy Barfarosh, with his run. He's able to lay it off or go in behind. He's always looking to do that. We're breaking forward at the moment sometimes with only a two-prong attack. And... Uh, Lucas is way out the other side, so it isolates Tommy. I don't think that's what the gaffer wants, but um, we go again. Just seems like if you can come in a little bit, then and Tommy has a ball that can just run off him, it'll be much better as well. They're giving it away here. Barfrosh, it's all errors here in the back line, and that's gone. It'll be a goal kick. Goal kick. Nice oh, that out. was close there, Joe. That yep. was all over the shop. Would have, been, would have been perfect timing too, Alex. <laughs> And Pascaval again just dropped their heads a little bit and Brunswick Juventus were on it. And they almost made a meal out of that one. Shane Rex Heppy will be just scratching himself going with that decision making there. As Tennant now trying to cool things down. And Pascal just trying to get to half time here, not conceded another. It's a lovely ball over the top. Choi has to head it away. Roberts. Couldn't do much from there. Sekic. Pasco trying to move it along quickly. Hey, Soli. Switches it out wide. Lucente. Good hustling there. Not allowing them in any space. Got to stifle their running, running power. A couple of minutes to go before half time. There should be a couple of minutes of out of time. Can offside flags raised. Troy comes over. He'll take as much time as possible off the clock. Not do anything silly. Joy sends it upfield. Uh, for a shout, muscled referee waves him on. Hey, Soli tries to put the fruit ball in. But Graham, once again, been really solid. Pulling of black and white shirts there in recovery too, which is very impressive. Uh, seeing the staying in the line, making sure there's no gaps. Very hard to, uh, to break those lines unless the ball goes wide and doesn't become a danger. Chance now for Pascaval. Final minutes remaining before half time as Sekic. Quick one, two. Oh, lovely ball in the middle now. They can move it wide. Vaz was waiting for it. Still waiting for a Vaz, does the Reedies. Holds it up. Send it forward, but only Bolt got there first. Pascal Van now trying to get something going before half time. Petreski turns into trouble playing the black and white shirts and we come away with it. You're going to wake up tomorrow and think they're still playing against them. There's so many black and white shirts around them that they don't know where to turn as Lucente heads that one away. Still kept in now. Trying to play the one two, but they turn it over cheaply. Hansi Giorgio. They're coming away with it now, Pascavel. Tennant's been really good. He sold it. Probably want to see more involvement from him in the middle of the park. And so we're about to head into at a time here at CB Smith Reserve. Just Pascavel, just waiting to see who moves and comes. They find a little gap in the middle now. Sekic. Hansi Giorgio. Licente overlapping. Petreski clears. Hey, Soli. Chance for Alessandratos. 
That's it, Georgie O'Neill. Look for that through ball here. They switch it out wide, but Lazaridis was there. He can make a bit of a run here. Oh, Lazaridis probably should have played it into his man, and it's eventually cleared for a throw. Well, in the extra time now, almost a minute. Brunswick happy to just milk up as much time possible here, not do anything silly as they go the throw to Vaz. Lost one beautifully over to Mikulov now. Chance. Mikulov looking to cut back in. Gets on the edge of the box. Petreski. Happy to slow things down. Finds Graham. He lops one into the box. Ah, for Russia, nice too ball. many to beat as Vaz is on the back here now. Can play it in short. A lovely little dummy from Vaz. Whips in across. It's headed away by Ali Bolt. Petreski wins it back here. Just gets bumped off the ball Ooh. by Sekic. As he's pointing in the Pascal Bell direction. No. No, that's a black and white free kick. Almost two minutes played here at CB Smith Reserve. This is in uh, just a little bit further out than what uh, Phil Petreski would want. But there's an opportunity. Massive gap on the right-hand side, which uh, Mickliff drifts into now. No, he's, he's drifting into the middle as well. Cross yeah. comes in, looking for the back. Oh, it's swatted Ooh. away there by Shakarun. Not the cleanest of punches, but he clears it, which is the main thing. Sekic now going for a bit of a run. Petreski's there to clean up. He'll go back to Choi. It's and mopped, mopped oh, really Choi well. just took his eyes off the ball there. Luckily, no one was chasing him down. Petreski wins it back. He's mopped up really well this first half, Petreski. Dictated a lot of it and started a lot of the play. Lazaridis. Kundari. Oh, no one in front of him. Eventually sends it up forward. Head of the way. That's a Giorgio. Alley ball <laughs> clears. Fighting hard is Will Roberts. And he sends it out wide. A round of applause from the home fans. Nearly four minutes played here at CB Smith Reserve. Problems with Juventus will be pretty happy with their performance in the first half after getting that early goal. Fro comes in. Anti Giorgio sends it back now. Chance for. Oh, hey, Soli just got in the way. Strong header in the air. Vaz trying to win it back, he does. Turns nicely there, Lucas Vaz. Oh, he's looking through the through ball for Barfarosh. Pasco clear. He's still playing now. Hey, Soli. Nicholas not putting any pressure. And boys in black and white get back into their positions as Hatsi Giorgio and Tennant. Ball played upfield to Sekic. Looking to turn. A little bit of run. Alison Dratos now. Petreski watching him closely. Alison Dratos whips in across. It's taken a deflection, but Choi gobbles it up. Nearly five minutes, Joe. Yeah, I'm not quite sure there was that much time in the half, but um, we're not down there. <laughs> Referee, I'm sure, has got the stopwatch on it. Tennant heads away. Cross it to the right-hand side of Zwedi. Puts it on the edge of the box here, a chance. Oh, shot came off there from Roberts, but it was blocked. And, and still we play on. Licenti whips in across. It's cleared. Hey, Soli. Brunswick now determined to defend with their, all their lives. Headed out. Eventually cleared nicely. They're still under the pump. 
Vaz wins it back for Brunswick now. Needs to go forward. Lovely turn. Oh, he's sending Hay Soli for a hot dog. Still going, and eventually the ball will roll out. Almost six minutes of out of time here, Joe. I'm not yeah. sure much longer we're going to be playing. He just looked at his watch now, so uh, we can't be too far away, but I'm sure both coaches will be keen to have a word to the respective teams in the sheds. As Brunswick have had us maintain control, looking to maybe do a little bit more damage before we go in. Oh, Pascoe Vale will clear it away. Sekic now. And cutting that one off was Mitchell Graham. Oh, lovely little bit of turn Here's here, Yubina. Barfrosh, Mikulov running down the line. Eventually gets to him, Mikulov. That should, should do it. He's looking at his watch again. Oh, it looks at things. We're playing almost close to seven minutes of out of time here. Fro comes in. Alley ball clears, headed down. Oh, Alley ball clears again. So that was our tenant. Hey, Soli, Petrovsky. Spin move there by Alison Dratos. And eventually we call time at seven minutes here at CB Smith Reserve. It is the home side. Brunswick Juventus leading 1 0. Thanks to the sole goal from Barfarosh in the second minute. It's been a solid 45 minutes for our boys. Joe, they pretty much controlled the game after that goal and didn't allow. Pasca to play their usual game and in the end uh, we lead at half time. I agree. I think we edged it and controlled it when we needed to. We're winning the 50-50 the balls through the middle. I'd like to see a little bit more thrust going forward. Um, I'm sure the gaffer would be thinking about that. He's got some firepower on the bench that can maybe change the equation a little bit, but the game's in our keeping at the moment and we don't look like we're suffering. Although Pasco Vale like to get behind with some curved balls they're waiting for us to open up a gap to run into At the moment we've been quite stoic in defending and all's well well we lead one nil at half time I want to thank our sponsor joe's quality corner at preston market make sure you give them a visit let them know you're a brunswick fan they've got the large range of beef lamb and goat give them a visit they're at preston market wednesday to saturday they do home deliveries as well at joesqualitycorner.com.au we'll be back after the halftime breaks and plenty of football left to come don't go away
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this round six clash here in the VPL2 match between the host Brunswick Juventus and the visiting Pascaval FC. Coming to you live from CB Smith Reserve. All thanks to our sponsor, Joe Quality's Corner at Preston Market. Make sure you get down there and visit them. My name is Alex Sifkarovsky, and joining me in the commentary box is Joe Sala. Joe, it's been an entertaining first 45 minutes. We've confirmed it is Matthew Watley that scored the goal. Yep. He credited with the goal. A big 45 minutes coming up now for the boys in black and white. So if you're tuning in from uh, Wales, uh, the, the big fella's <laughs> actually uh, nodded that in or scuffled it over the line one way. It all counts. <laughs> they went in. That's all that matters. And uh, now... The uh, second half is underway as Pascaval have 45 minutes to salvage something. Otherwise, they're looking for their third straight loss in a row. Let's just hope our boys can bring it home because if they do, that's five straight league wins since that opening day loss. I don't see a change. or no. looks like Bunis might be coming on. I think so. It's probably going to be a very late change here. Just trying to pick up who's gone off. But Jonathan Boone is definitely on the touchline, stripped and ready to go. The number's going up now. And can't make it out. So, 30. Uh, if it's 13, quite. it's Matthew Lazaridis, but he's right in front of us. Yeah, no, I don't know who it was. The, the red number was, I don't know, 1-3 by the looks of it. Yeah, the glare could have been Matthew Lazaridis, but no, no, he's, he's definitely here. right in front of us here yep. as we're up underway here now. We'll work it out. <laughs> we'll eventually find out as Tennant, who's been really solid for Pascaval in the back line. Uh, now they need to get something going forward here. Quick one to Kandari's uh, there. I've yet to pick up uh, Mikaliff, the 28. So at this stage, yeah, like he's, he's there. You can he, see him on the far there. side. So it's not him. Lazaridis. Petrescu is there. So we'll, we'll confirm who the sub was as eventually Pasco send it forward. High ball to the left-hand side in Vaz. Quick touch there. Still going Vaz. That's it. Giorgio is there. Lucente. Plays a quick one-two with Alessandratos. In the middle is Heisoli. They switch it out wide to Zwedi. Pasco have come out early in, out of the blocks. Lucente. And listen, Drados is looking for it. Twisting and turning, cuts it in. Edge of the box has a chance, but that stayed wide. As soon as a moment it hit his foot. I think he was in two minds there whether to cross or have a shot. And in the end, it ultimately went nowhere. Chance for Choi to bring it in. Sends it upfield. First touch for Bonus. Finds nice. its mark. Nicely done. Vaz now looking to get back on his right. He shoots it straight. And Ali Ball. Good challenge. Lazaridis keeps it in. Looks for the line. Kundari. Vaz. Three to beat. Gets out of trouble a little bit. Lucas Vaz now. Whips in across into the box. Coming in the back for this Mikkel if he laid it off nicely. Kandari! And good save by Shakurun there. Probably a bit too straight. Matthew Kandari keen on getting it on target, but just a little bit too direct. Uh, early warning side from Brunswick here. They look to push on. Alison Dratos looking for that through ball. Nothing in front of him. Eventually they do. There's a touch there off Roberts. They go wide. Cut off in the end. Telegraph and picked off by Graham, who makes a darting run forward. Nikolov has to chase back. So both teams coming out of the blocks early here at CB Smith Reserve. I know what's on the line. In the other game, SRM Royals leading 1 0 against North Sunshine Eagles. So if the boys can bring it home here, they'll be four points clear at the top. Awful up the line in the middle of the park. Trying to get something going here, Pasco now. Cuts back on his right. 
Looking to get back on his left. Getting manhandled there. Oh, he's given a free kick. Oh, that's poorly done. It's... He... Mm, don't know. It's a bit of a surprise to the defender there. But uh, there was definitely some arms locked. Looked like 50-50 from uh, where we were. But given the benefit of the doubt to Pasco Vale. Chance now for Pasco to whip something in. Brunswick have to be careful here. Right on the edge of the box too. So it's in a very, very dangerous position. Crowded six yard box. <laughs> Brunswick have everyone behind the ball defending here. All in the 18 yard box. Bit of pushing and shoving in there. Got to be careful. Choi needs Choi's clear space. Choi's trying to make some space for himself. Cross comes in. It's in the middle. Headed the way nicely what, there. Watley, strong as. He's been really solid today with that goal. He swings it out wide again. Vaz now. Just hoofs it forward. Lovely ball. Mikulov now. Bit of space. Kundari in a heap of space on the left-hand side. Too late, hasn't noticed and gone backwards. Petrevsky squares it inside for Bonus, who lays it back. Now yeah, back to Choi. Choi a darning ball, but he's turned it over to Heisoli here. Chance now for Pascavale. Oh, the challenge came through. Kundari, all oh, ball, says the referee. Petrevsky linking up nicely here with Bunas. Game starting to stretch out a little bit already. Oh, lovely ball, Kundari now. Looking to bit go. Of space here out in the left for Vaz. It's Vaz looking to cut back on his left. On his right, Vaz shoots. Wrong side of the post. And goal kick at that just to rub insult and injury. But uh, nice space there found by uh, Oliveira. Really got to put those away. Lucas, he knows that too. Just a shake of the head. As Pascaval now, Sekic, moving into the middle of the park here. Zweni looking to through ball, but Petreski solid now. Mikulov lost one over the top. Not long enough for Barfarosh. Tenen heads it clear. And Pascal now can build out from the back here as they send it forward to wild pass to Lazaridis. Vaz turns. Kundari, oh, lovely little touch, just created enough space. Was well, looking for that through ball, but cut off by Alison Gerratos. Had to Giorgio. Bit of thr thrust and parry here at the moment, Alex. Both teams uh, going uh, going for it. Which team can hold on <coughs> the longest is Lucenti. Alison Gerratos. Two to beat. Cuts in. Puts the through ball in. Oh, Roberts. Well covered by Watley, just making sure, just in case. Watley's having some game here tonight so far. Reads the play well. Plenty of experience. Choi sends it upfield. Head of the way by Luchante. Vaz. Lazaridis. I'll go back to Choi again. This time took control of the ball properly. Ooh. Roberts sliding in. Crowd were on the edge of their seat on that one. Tennant. Nicola for late in the challenge there, and eventually the referee will call a foul. Just seem a little bit more in control when we're going forward. Pasco Vale definitely up the tempo. Keen to get back into level pegging, but. And we think Urbina was the one that's uh, been substituted. Maybe. Jonathan Maybe. Bunos, a good pick up there, Alex. <laughs> Chance now for Pasco with Hatsi Giorgio to Ali Bolt. Got a bit of space in front of him. He swings at it wide, Lucente. Lost one into the box. Got to be careful here. Mikulov. Good run here. Still going. Oh, lovely work there from Mikulov. Just through the legs of Hay Sol. He's still going. He squares it off to Vaz on the edge of the box. Vaz 
Chance now for Bunas. Quick one to the big man. Oh, he just couldn't get it under control. It's that final touch. As Witty now keeps it in for Baskerval. They push on forward. Three on three here. Lovely through ball, but Lazaridis. Covered easily. Just as temperament from him and smarts to cover that one as he clears. Petreski to Bunas. Vaz now with a bit of space in front of him. Got to take Lucenti on. Vaz cuts into the middle. Squares it off. Barfrosh has to bulldoze his way through and gives away a foul. Just had his run checked there, uh, Tommy Barfrosh, and lifted his hands. Once he's lifted his hands, it's uh, downtime for Pascoe Bale, defender, and free kick. Well, the opening 10 minutes here in the second half has been very entertaining. Both teams are going at it. Brunswick having the best of opportunities with Vaz. Fortunately, just went wide. Tennant. Only ball in the middle here. Hatsi Giorgio. Got to be careful not to give it away. Sekic. Alley ball. Ten minutes in. Two teams separated by Matthew Watley. A scramble over the line for the first corner in the first minute of play. Brunswick making one change at half time. Ubina off and Jonathan Bunas on. Pasco yet to make a change, but you feel like a couple more minutes of might as. Alison Drados is not going to keep that one in. Just over hit. Pasco now need to put the pressure on here. Not allow Brunswick to get out of trouble easily. They win it back. The throw wasn't long enough. Vaz just did the smart thing and clear it to safety. Chance for Lucente. Plays it in short. Petreski cuts that on off. Bunas. Barfrosh gets manhandled there. Referee says no foul. Interesting call. It's gone to Pascaval there. Not sure what Tommy Barfrosh did. He's pretty much got thrown to the ground. Referee says free kick the other way. And there's uh, just some incidents we just don't comment on. <laughs> Alison Dratos now to whip Tom, one in. Tommy Bean told to go to complete 10 and he stops. Alison Dratos whips it in. Cleared away by Petreski. Barfrosh flicks it on. Lucente swings at it. Plenty of numbers behind the ball. Mikulov brings it down. Lovely ball, Bunas again getting into very good areas as Mikulov now, they stream forward here, Vaz is waiting Some for it. Space. Lovely ball over the top, Vaz now needs to take him on. Can play it short, goes back to Bunas, they can go further wide here. Good overlapping run here for Brunswick, cross comes in, it's a high ball. Eventually cleared by Lucente for a throw. It's a little bit better delivery that final one, the looping ball probably didn't suit but we maintain the throw Lazaridis now comes across to throw it in we'll get it back again oh lovely ball on the edge of the box finds Bar a bit of space Barfrost shoots blocked still going hey Soli Oh, dummy there from Roberts, but Simioi. just too good, Nick Simioi. As he goes back to Choi, Choi swings at it to the right-hand side, but Mikulov was well away from that one, and it'll be a throw for Pascavel. Deep at left back, quickly taken. Shakarun. Alley ball. Tennant. 
Roberts with the little touch. Hatsi Georgia out wide to Zwedi. Looking to take Motley on. Cuts in. Still going ball in the middle for Roberts now. Tries to get back on his right. Too many black and white shirts. Shouts for penalty. Referee just laughs at him. Moves along. Yeah, nothing to see here. Choi will milk up as much time possible. He needs to be careful at that. Releases Lazaridis who goes for a bit of a darting run now. Lazaridis has got plenty of space. He gets it to the halfway line. Faz, but the ball was just too wide for him. Well, they're showing glimpses here, Joe, of but just the final piece of the puzzle is not there as yet. Yep. But... Oliveira didn't move for Lazaridis coming up the pitch. Got to make space either to run in. Looked like he was going to carry the ball. Alessandrados wins the header. Slicing that one off the foot with Simeoi, but either way he wanted it out up to the side and he got it. We've played an hour here at CB Smith Reserve. It's still 1-0 Brunswick Juventus. Alessandrados, lovely little turn. Crosses it. Oh, I think he just did too much in the end and had nothing left in the tank. And it will be a goal kick. Pretty similar to how the first half went, uh, Alex. Um, same sort of style of play from both teams black and white seemingly in control Pascal Vail trying to force the issue which they obviously need to do Choi in the way by Ali Bol he solely keeps it in plays it in short Alison Drados four to beat found some space good work by Sekic Petreski just no nonsense defending and lets him know about it as well. A nice psychological battle going on there. He's played well tonight. Philip Petreski in the first half continued on in the same vein in the second half. Lazarid is to bring it in. in front of the home fans here. Goes long. Bunas just couldn't get boot to ball. Hey, Soli. Lucente, Alessandratos, lovely ball down the line to Roberts, but Simeoi used his smarts there, just got in front, as soon as the hit came he knew it was going down. Half an hour left here at CB Smith Reserved, Shane Ricks Heppy not made a change yet for Pascaval, but might be looking to make one, surely. Only for Stankowski made one just on half time. Both, both sets of substitutes warming up. That one going well wide there by Choi as Lucente quickly brings it in to Ali Bolt. Pass going out, trying to find that last touch in the box and get a chance at goal. I don't think they've tested Choi at all. Early ball. Zwedi. That's in Giorgio. Hey, Sol in the middle of the park here. Gets out of trouble. Gets past Bunas, but with those long legs, he wins it back. Chance here. Hey, Sol, he just can't get it on his right leg as Petreski clears. Only as far as Lucente. Good run by the midfielder, Hey, Soli there. Sekic. Hey Soli, back to Hatsi Giorgio. Lucente, Pasco trying to look for something. He whips in across, and that one, as soon as it came off the boot, stayed wide. Just couldn't wrap his foot around it, Alex. And as we look to make a substitution here, Pasco Val. Number eight, I think it is. He's coming on, Aiden Gardner. And number four, it looked like, is it? Okay. like the number nine. Nine. And Will Roberts. So Aiden Gardner coming on for Will Roberts. Tough night in office for him. And as finally Shane Rex Heppy might have heard our calls and made the change. Been starved of uh, opportunities, uh, been corralled well by Simeoi and Watley. Joy, this one this time made sure of it. Tenant head down early touches for Gardner 
Alison Gerard Toss, Gardner kept running on, he sends it forward. Just too long there for Zweddy. Has... Gave it up fairly early, I thought, there, Sweeney. I'm mm. not sure Rex Eppie would uh, like that bit of enthusiasm. Just singling now that uh, generally I thought it was out. <laughs> and it looks like Brunswick will look to make their change. Not just as yet. Bachelor warming up. Man with the best name in the business, Max Bachelor. Yep. He... Um, Keen to get on, I just don't think it's <laughs> don't think it's time yet. He's got that big half off. It's Choi sends it upfield. Vaz and Barfrosh. Bit of the way by Lazaridis. Flicked on. Barfrosh still going alley ball. Got those long legs in the way. There's legs everywhere. And will be a free kick going the way of Pascaval. A little bit frustrated, Tommy Barfrosh, with some of the manhandling. Yeah. Yeah, rightly so. He's practically and it is, an arm wrestler. It is bachelor to come, to come on. And so. it looks like um, Tommy's night has been done. Battled it hard, referees pointing, pointing him in the opposite direction. I'm not quite sure. There's plenty of time left. It's not that far to walk. But as is the norm nowadays, referees decide where you walk off. As Thomas Barfrosh couldn't add to his goal tally this evening. He did try it. And coming on is Max Batchelor to steady the ship home and maybe pinch another one here for Brunswick Juventus to wrap up all three points. But still got plenty of time left to go, 25 minutes plus stoppage time here. He's got enough quality and uh, persistence, uh, Max, to get his name on the score sheet just to cement the game. Tenant. Alley Bolt. Be confused at what he needs to do. He needs to be careful now. He needs to go for it. The big man, Ali Bolt, eventually gets out of trouble. Goes back to his usual position. Quick movements here from Pasco. The cross comes in. Zwerdy now just can't get it off the boot. Hatsi Giorgio, they can see it a bit of ground. Good work there well, from smothered. Petreski. Bachelor, first touch. Bunas out wide. Petreski holds it up a little bit. He's been everywhere tonight, Petreski. Seeing the, seeing the ball large, seeing the gaps. Good hit. run here now, Bachelor. Can he get a through ball? It goes out wide to Vaz. Vaz now has got to go attack. Bunas offering, puts a ball in from Lucas Vaz. Probably not the greatest hat to Giorgio now. Has to clear, Oh, almost takes out Petreski, but one back here. Vaz, one, two, eventually got tackled by Hayesoli. He's letting everything run at the moment. It's clean so far. Lucente puts a through ball, but Choi, we're happy to see that one. Well, there was plenty of challenges in that bit of play. The referee, Uga Arslan, just said, play on, boys, let's get going. That Max Bachelor ball just behind Lucas Oliveira. Yeah. Just took the sting out of the, the forward movement and allowed Pascal to get back in numbers. Choi, just slicing that one off the boot. Hatsi Giorgio lets it bounce. Simioi, Bunas, Bachelor getting involved, Ali Bolt. Switches it to the left hand side, but Watley's there and gonna have it covered. He'll go back to Choi. Swings at it again. Gonna be a bit better in possession there, Choi. It's flicked on by Gardner, Petreski. Cool, calm, collected here from Brunswick. They send it forward. Ali Bol's got to be careful at it. Ooh. Oh, Faz almost pinched it. Lucente now goes wide. Ellison Drados and Lazaridis. Smart play there from Lazaridis. And gets a round of applause from the home fans. He's done what he's needed to do well all night so far, Lazaridis. Very solid at left back this evening. As he looks to bring it back into play, Bunas calling for it. And he's given him a yellow card for taking his time, jeez. Oh. No, well, no comment. <laughs> less we say better. Eventually sent forward as Lazaridis wins it back and goes back to Choi. 
There's this time direct route to Bachelor, flicked on, but no one's home. Tenon at the back. Not quite sure of the wisdom of that. If not playing, if not playing two pivots up front, the nod back is not really what's required. Hold up play was the call of the day there for Maxi. Next opportunity. Pasco now looking at the clock as Hatsi Giorgio made a darting run down the line here for Pascavale. Needs a bit of help, concedes a bit of ground. And that's going to be a throw. Hey, Soli in the middle of the park. Oh, Gardner tried to use his body, but Lazaridis gave it back almost as Petrescu now trying to steady the ship. Bunas with a bit of space in On front of him. On the play here, Lucas, we went the opposite direction. Kept running. Bachelor still going, gets muscled off the ball, but kept running forward here. Lovely dummy. They're lining up here. The cross is not the greatest. And Shaka Ruin gets there first. Just rushed it, I think. Just rushed it a little bit. Lucente now for Pascaval. Gardner. Need to be careful here, Brunswick. This is just over 20 minutes left to go here. Only a one goal lead. As Ali Bowl swings it out wide to the left hand side. Sekic. Looks to cut in, but good tackle there from Mikulov. Kundari now has to go forward. Bachelor for support. Max Bachelor now. Slows things down. Lazaridis, just like a little touch there, finds Petrescu. Oh, it seems to have plenty of time tonight, uh, Petrescu. Just seeing the ball like it's a beach ball at the moment. Yep. Lovely touch there, Bunas now. Out wide, Mikulov. Lovely ball through, gets it back again. Oh, gets through the legs, still going on the edge of the box. And, the and there it is. And it's Kandari that it's makes Kandari. it 2 0. And they finally get that second goal they thoroughly deserve. And Brunswick Juventus now lead 2 0 in the local derby. Goal Brunswick Juventus, goal scorer number seven, Matthew Kandari. Brunswick Juventus 2, Pasco Val 0. And that was all down to Justin Mikulov, who just used this mark through the legs of his defender, opened up the gap a bit. Kandari just waited, and they put it on a platter for him, and there was nothing that Shakarun could do. And the boys in black and white now lead 2 0. We've just under 20 minutes left to go here at CB Smith Reserve. Well, he got a couple of uh, opportunities earlier on in the game, Matthew Kandari, and didn't think he was going to salute tonight, but uh, he's in the right position for that one. And now they are 20 minutes away from going five in a row and having a big lead at top of the table heading into their Doherty Club cat clash next week. As... Pascaval now really need to throw everything in the kitchen sink, otherwise they're looking at their third straight loss in a row for them as they look to climb their way back up into Vic PL1. Well, it was a good finish in the end, Joe. It just took Justin Mikulov, just that touch of class, to really break it through the deadlock and, and find Kandari. Yep, got, got some space. Right move. Finished off uh, nicely with a bit of a plomb from uh, Matthew Kundari. As a little bit of uh, chatter happens here on the Pascoe Vale bench. And Rex Eppi and the linesman and the referees wandered over to have a chat, but nothing in it. Understandably, a bit frustrating for Pascoe Vale. But well, the, the team that has best, well, I think the first or second best uh, defensive record in the league and unfortunately they're looking at their third straight loss in a row this evening as Petrescu now really solid game from him he steady the ship at times when it looked rough as Kandari now to Lazaridis Vaz 
Kandari. We know 2 0 is a dangerous scoreline, so Pascaval will look to attack now at every chance they get forward. Getting manhandled there, but play on called the big man Bunas now. He's playing a bit of confidence nicely. now. Yep, you can see the swagger in the boys in black and white. They know. One touch football overlapping. Nikolov just getting out muscled that time as Gardner. Lovely through ball down the line and unable to keep it in as there'll be another substitution now. <clears throat> it's going to be for Brunswick Juventus. Duchel Candadejo. Looks like he's going to come on. Yeah, Candadejo just use his pace and try to break the lines a little bit. There's Kandari and Petrescu. Bunas tried to flick it on. Lucente almost got caught out there in the end, but recovered as Ali Ball finds Gardner. Good tackle in the end. Ali Ball came through as, again, Bunas wins the ball back here for the boys in black and white. Oh, just couldn't get that last just didn't through go ball. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a Giorgio. Oh, it's given away. Almost caught back. Hey, Soli. Pascaval now got to come up with something here in the final 15 minutes. Otherwise, a third trait lost in a row. And the pressure's on. Cut off by Kundari, but a force to Lucente. He just took his eyes off the ball, but recovered. But Lazaridis were just hovering around as they send it up forward. Bachelor. Oh, he's won it there. Ali Ball just caught, caught fighting, out. Fighting Lovely hard. work there. Bachelor now looks up. Vaz Look. waiting for it. Still going. Bachelor oh, looking for that square ball. Vaz still there. Still stayed Edge on the side box. too. Nice work by Bachelor there. Find some space. Petreski plays the one-two. Out wide to Mikulov. Squares it back. But not enough on there. And Pasco clear. Good work by Match Bachelor. Just... Fought it out till he was in control of the ball. Got lucky with a rebound. Playing with a bit of a plum at the moment. And then a substitution. I think it's uh, Justin Mikulov is coming off. And Cannon Dahan, Cannon Dunhaho. Dussel. Dussel there. He's coming on. The youngster, the speedster. He'll put a bit of pace up and down the line and Cause a bit of havoc here for Pascaval. Give him something to think about for sure. <laughs> Jay, it's 2 0. Dangerous call line. Do you go for a third or do you. Well, look, it is. Do I you think. You go uh, for the 2 0 and just uh, close shop. Look, the substitution indicates that we'll keep him thinking and guessing. I think the plan's worked out well. There's there's no reason for us to alter what we're doing. I think Stankovsky's uh, proved that we had the right intent to start with, so I'd suggest more of the same. Levy Lim comes There we on. go. And it's going to be a corner. Into the action early. Dussel forces a corner, and Brunswick Juventus will take the corner. So Nick Hatsi Giorgio came off there as Levy, Levy Lim has come on, and it is a corner here for... Brunswick Juventus now, as they have most just under 15 minutes left to go. It'll be, if they bring it home, it'll be a fifth straight win in a row here in the league as the corner comes in into the hot spot here. And Shakarun just took it there nicely. Quick release here. Finds Hayato Fukada, trying to send it forward. Petreski looks for the line. It's a bit of a hopeful one. The bachelor was nowhere near it. Ali Ball. In the middle. Cut off in the end. And it'll be a throw in. Right on the halfway line, far side here at CB Smith Reserve. 
It's been the story of the night so far. Get plenty of ball through the middle, Pascoe Vale, but the back four for Brunswick Juventus has been able to pick them off. They've Brunton been, hasn't been there. They've really been in sync today. Nothing has gone past them, and if it has, there is someone there to clean up. It's always a celebration when uh, one of the defenders scores, so um, <laughs> at the moment, everything running the plan. Brought down nicely. Quick one-two football here from the boys in black and white. Oh, just stepping on a chance for Vaz, but it was blocked. Petrescu there to save. Lazaridis whips in a cross into the box. They're lining up, just overhit. They saw in the back line here. Trying to get something going, but that one's going to roll out. No, it kept it in. in. Good work. Gives the ball away, unfortunately. We're getting back again, so no one seems to hold on to the ball here. Cross comes in, head of the way by Ali Bolt. Gardner sends it upfield, but too many black and white shirts. Or oh, it's over on there by Kundari. Chance for Fukuda. It's like a little bit of a hit and hope for Pascoe Vale at the moment. Not enough numbers to do anything with. And Chance we turn it now. Over. Vaz chasing hard to get it. He's got plenty of space in front of him. It's just Ali Bolt. Cuts in Lucas Vaz. Can he get a shot off? Oh, good save. The follow up. Well, oh, it's a double save there by Shakarun. Max Bachelor, unfortunately, not able to get on the end of that second one. There was a big chance there for Lucas Vaz as Kandari goes into the books on that challenge. Didn't quite see why. But uh, very good keeping by the Pasco Vale keeper to deny the second chance there for uh, Max Bachelor. Disappointed with that, Max. And Lucas Vaz once again holding his head. Another chance. It is a corner, so not out of trouble as yet. We've got 10 minutes left to go here. Can Brunswick find the third and wrap it up? Cross comes in. It's high. Chuck Run punched it away nicely. They saw. Challenge from Gardner. Pascal Vale trying to get themselves out of trouble, they but are, to no avail. Yeah, they're finding it difficult just to get out of anything at the moment. We do well to box them into that corner, Alex. At this rate, they might struggle to get out of the car park as it's a throw here for the boys in black and white. Will they go the long route? They do. It's into the box. It's flicked on. Vaz, as well as... Handball shouts, referee says no. Pasco clear, but there's plenty of black and white shirts. They win it back. Again, a hit and hope from Pasco Vale. Not enough numbers forward. Everybody's busy defending. Not yeah. sure what happened here. Two, two balls out. on the pitch. There's, there's a substitution made here. Like Lucas Vaz might be coming off. I don't think he's there. No. Matthew Kundari. Matthew Kundari. Smart. The goal scorer. Smart play there. Number seven is off. Let's see who's kind of like Steph uh, Steph So Oliver Stankowski just making some good changes here. Yep. Give the boys a well-earned rest, especially ones on a yellow. It's Ali Bol just slicing that one well wide. Marisovic will do what he uh, usually does, and that settle, settle in there, pick up, pick up from the defence, move it around, generally patrol in front of the back four. Lazaridis. And keep the keep the three points. Finds Fukuda. Bunas. Oh, just stood his ground with three players around him. A solely. Keeps it out wide to Gardner. Kept running. Fukuda gives himself some space, crosses it into the box, but plenty of players around. Has just got the flexion as Ali Ball wins it back for Gardner. Yeah, under 10 minutes to go here at CB Smith Reserve. Lucente keeps it in. It's going to be. All or nothing here for Pascaval here to salvage something as they give it away cheaply. 
Bunas just couldn't get under control. Hey, Soli. Oh, nicely Ducell. done from Ducell now. Chance here. Bachelor in front of him. He puts the Jets on. Ducell still going. Shoots. Stayed wide. It's, uh, I'm looking at Bach Bachelor Alex because uh, instead of running away to create some space, uh, he, he ran towards the deadline and yep. uh, Lucas was not actually motoring toward to get in there either, giving that third option. Yeah, just get the defenders to doubt themselves and create the space. That's Fukada trying to get the move, the ball going as Bachelor now. Bunas, it's been good since he's come on. Puts a through ball down the line to Bachelor, but fortunately Pascaval got there first. Petreski again, Mr. Everywhere. Has been tonight, it's been very good. Vaz, lovely ball in the middle. Barasevich forward. Here comes Petreski. Brunswick now just holding it up, moving it around, just chips it over the top. Bachelor, oh, slice that one wide. Worth a chance, Alex. Nice little build-up yep. play. Six or seven string passes and uh, the final hit not there, but uh, just shows you the confidence they're playing with at the moment. Uh, really enjoying their football out there. We've just under five minutes left to go here. Lucente. Trying to keep the excitement under check in the black and white world. As Alibol streaming forward here, the big centre back trying to create something, an extra man in the middle. Ooh, wrong option, bit of space out the right hand side. And now they're in trouble here as Bunas, if he can get the through ball in. Flicked over the top now, Daisul. This is where they've got to be motoring, both Lucas and Bachelor. Daisul looking to twist and turn, oh, and turns nicely, still going, needs a bit of help, eventually gets it. Bunas, Petreski. Lazaridis running forward as well, but they'll slow things down. Eventually they'll get it to Lazaridis. Simioi, captain's performance today by him. Just controlled football at the moment here. Lovely ball out wide, though. Saul's still going, he kept running on. Don't know if we'll get there, he does. The cross comes in. Good work by Graham. Well, Bachelor got a head onto it, but uh, not much. Fell the, wrong, fell the wrong side of his body with uh, Lucas Oliveira just behind him. Fakuda now. Gardner. Hey, Soli. You take over the 86 minute mark. Ball out wide here now. Pasco trying to do something, but trickles over for a throw. And they might just have to put the cue back in the rack and defend this last couple of minutes, not concede another, and just build towards next week. Long throw. Flicked on by Bachelor. Fukada. Nazaridis, there to clean up, but giving away a foul was Simioi. Like said, just instinct. Once he's gone past, defenders usually don't like that, so a little bit of a unnecessary free kick. Just need to stay solid and defend. Two-man wall required by Choi. A bit of a distance here. Well, it's Andrados fancies himself. It's going to be some hit. You can pull it off distance, probably not a problem. Accuracy might be as Alessandrados, he does hit it. Choi makes a good save, and it's their first shot on target this evening. Yep, nice little drill work there from, by Choi. He would have seen that many times at training from that distance, have to be a special one, like we said. Choi sends it up forward. Vaz trying to flick it on, Lucente out wide. Getting in the way is Barisovic there. Fukada allows Lucente to take it. Two minutes left to go plus stoppage time. Gardner in the middle. They flick it out wide, but it might be too much on that one. It just keeps it in. Pasco still is trying to get something forward as the cross comes in, and it will be a goal, goal kick. kick. Goal kick. 
All the indications of a good squad, uh, Alex, this year. The interchangeable parts that uh, Stankowski is able to produce when needed without missing a beat. We actually look the same sort of style and play as we did when the first before the substitutions were made. So it's a indicative sign that the squad is actually fairly even. And you, and you feel like they're going to build from here. It's just going to eventually get better and better and they'll flow a bit better. They'll get tested and they'll come out of it as Choi sends it forward. High ball in the air. Bit of an arm wrestle. Petrescu heads it back. Ooh. Free kick there, but unpaid. We still have the ball. Play on is more. Bunas now. Can Won't go waste wide. It. Do sell. Can he cut in? Offside flag. He just needed to hold the line a bit yep. more. Take a look across the line, young Dussel. Regardless of um, the game, Pascal Vale is always a challenge. They're always up for a, a derby fight. So it's not a, not, a, not a cheap win. This is a win that's going to be deserved with any luck. Wow. I know there's a little bit of time left, but... They yeah, broke him down in the end. That it was. They had to really... Pressure him in the right moments of the game, cause turnovers in the right moments and to take their chances, which in previous weeks they probably didn't. Tonight they have. Is That's going to be a corner. Yeah. Possess a little bit more brilliance, I think, in the front third. A bit more options for uh, Stan Kosky to tweak. And as you said before, we're likely to get better and better as uh, confidence improves. I think Mikulov in the lineup has made a big difference for him. That Just level that skill that he brings and... Yep. Decision making as referees trying to get things under control in the box here. And as we're heading into the 90th minute, there'll be four minutes of that a time. So Brunswick Juventus are four minutes away from making it five in a row and causing Pascaval to drop the three straight losses in a row and the pressure's back on them. Cross comes in. High header and Goal get kick. The turn he wanted. A goal kick, yes, it'll be good. Good result all round. As we play it almost a minute of stoppage time, three to go as Choi sends it upfield. Fukada heads it in the air. Petrescu just swings at it. And Sewell watches that one closely. And it'll be out by the referee. Quickly taken. Alley ball. Fukada, Lucente overlapping here. Gardner. Cross comes in. High ball in the air. Bunas. Well Lazarus. Reedies. Vaz, did he keep it in? No, referee says it'll be a throw. As Lucenti quickly takes it. Now Pascaval trying to get a late consolation goal here. Pushing forward. And solely to Gardner. Just put it behind his man. Tennant. Swings wide to the right-hand side. Lucente, good ball. Brings it under control now. Lucente trying to get across. He does. On the edge of the box, they're lining up here. Shot comes in. It's defended well. Under two minutes to go. Hey, oh, a lovely ball there from Vaz. Bachelor. And he's going to give away a free <laughs> kick. It could have gone either way. going to get a card for it too. Oh, a I'm not sure who had whose shirt first, <laughs> but uh, it's the one the referee sees. A minute and a half left to go here in the local derby. Bunas. Can he chance. send it forward? He does. Vaz now. He's got to take this one. Lucas Vaz. Against Ali Bowl. Vaz cuts back. Pushes it out wide to Dussel. 
He'll go to the corner flag. Still got time left to play. Under a minute now. Oh, lovely work from the youngster. And it'll be a throw here for Brunswick Juventus. We've less than a minute to go here in the local derby. It's the boys in black and white. We'll take this one out. This sets up the weekend for the faithful. And we look forward to next week. Well, we've got a cup game in the middle of the week against Heidelberg. So that's going to be a tough one against their MPL one outfit. True, although he's used his troops quite uh, sparingly and well, uh, Stankowski, so he'll have some uh, people to get game time in without missing too much. Be interesting. There's Lucente fighting hard to keep it in here. Pasco wanting to get that consolation goal, but the referee will blow the whistle. And there it is, a full-time whistle sounds here at C.B. Smith Reserve. And it is a home side, Brunswick Juventus taking it out 2-0. Thanks to goal from in the opening minute from Matthew Watley. And then the final goal in the end by Matthew Kandari to top things off. And the boys in black and white to take home the three points and their fifth win in a row, which is a big, big achievement for this club looking to get back up to the top. And Joe, it's been a very good win. It's been a very tough win, but we did it our way and that's the main thing. It is indeed. It's a great game to have won. It keeps us on the march and it also sends a signal that uh, we mean business. I just applaud the situation at the moment. We're going well. The cup game will test us a little bit, but uh, these are the risks you have to take. Well, we couldn't have done it without your support and in particular our, our stream sponsors. We thank them all, but in particular Joe's Quality Corner, Press and Market. Make sure you give them uh, follow, give them you know, a visit down there this weekend. They are open from Wednesday to Saturday at Joe's Quality Corner. And also our other sponsor, without them, we couldn't have done it. Cornerstone Pizzeria, 105 to 107 Harding Street, Coburg. It is a fine cuisine there. Make sure you get down to visit them and let them know you're a Brunswick UF fan. On half of the team here, myself, Alex Sivkarovsky, want to thank you all for tuning in. It's been a fantastic victory for the boys in black and white. It's a big win. It's five in a row. We've got a big cup game against Heidelberg United. Thank you all for tuning in and see you next week.